Hello and welcome to another presentation by Property Profits Training Group where we provide investors portfolio building strategies and money making solutions that work in the real world. My name is Gord Lemon and I've been investing in Canadian real estate and more recently in the US for over 25 years. I'm also a trainer, author, mortgage broker and manager of a mortgage investment corporation which is like a private bank. Today we're going to talk about a, a super important topic for anyone looking to buy their first property or add to their real estate portfolio and that is the financing binder. Not since the early 90s have I seen lending criteria so tight and with mortgage rules changing yet again and more lenders shying away from investment property lending, investors must present themselves to lenders in the best possible way. I've seen numerous financial portfolios over the years through my work as a mortgage broker and a common factor contributing to an investor's inability to acquire more property comes down to the lack of financial preparation. Most investors who are successfully growing their portfolios have created and continuously update a detailed financing binder. This allows any lender a cross-sectional view of an investor's income and expenses, credit bureau, non-real estate investments, assets, and liabilities. Also, if there's a principal residence or rental property zone, a detailed outline of each property is required, including current property value through an appraisal, current tax assessed value, mortgage statements, current balance, payment, rate, maturity date, and lender, as well as rental income verified by current lease agreements or economic rents, as well as income and expenses, uh, including a completed maintenance statement with repair breakdown, and pictures of the property are always nice. Also, debt coverage ratio spreadsheet indicating if the properties are within most lenders 1.1 debt coverage ratio guidelines and please see the video on this site about debt coverage ratio. So let's get into the financing binder steps. The object here is to get your income, debts, taxes, credit and net worth statement into an orderly fashion and clean up any messes affecting your chances of getting approved at the best rates. Anyone wanting to grow a portfolio must have their business together regardless of whether you're starting where you're starting financially. So number one, pull your own credit. Go to Equifax.ca or TransUnion.ca. They provide your credit score and a detailed history with your lenders. This allows you to repair any mistakes which can be pulling your credit score down. There's no negative impact on your credit score if you pull it a few times a year, which I do recommend. Eliminating debt. High credit card balances, leases, loans, or credit lines can impede the qualifying process. If you're struggling in this area, perhaps talk to a credit counselor or mortgage broker and get on a plan to eliminate or decrease your debt to manageable levels. Three, get your taxes current. Lenders do not advance mortgages to people who owe income tax. Why? Because the tax man comes before everyone in the foreclosure food chain. Four, get your income documents current. This means your last three pay stubs and a letter of employment if you're salaried. If you're self-employed, two years of T1 generals, which is your tax returns, two years NOAs, and proof of being self-employed like a copy of business registration or articles of incorporation. If you're paid by your own numbered company, you'll need your latest T4s. Also, if you have rental income, you'll need to include leases and economic rents through appraisals. Investment statements for any non-real estate investments such as RRSPs, TFSAs, stocks, mutual funds, and insurance policies are required. Mortgage statements from all properties should include current balance, interest rate, monthly payment, and maturity date. 7. Property tax information. A current property tax statement and latest assessment for all properties is required. And lastly, net worth statement. You can download a template online which you can fill in all income and expenses including all debts and who they're to. Include assets like properties, vehicles, jewelry, precious metals, and art. Okay, not your black, el black velvet Elvis portrait, but stuff like this. Whether you're a newbie or have a few properties, completing this task has many benefits. All successful millionaires have completed this step first, which is the first step towards financial freedom in real estate. Please contact me at gordlemon.com, gord at gordlemon.com, if you have any questions or if you'd like to book a free financing binder consultation. Thank you very much, and I look forward to your call. Take care and good luck.